Double conquering mega eagle. We're gonna make a charcoal kiln out of this drum. Um, should give us a, I don't know, 30, 40 kilos of charcoal. Um, I've got some, some plans for that charcoal, but uh, we've got to make it first. So this is, this is by far and away the, if you've got a barrel, the uh, quickest, easiest way to make um, a large lump of charcoal. Stay tuned. see here uh, cut some cut some slots and then bent the tabs over this is actually going to be the bottom of the kiln um, <clears throat> this will allow allow that airflow when we need it um, but prevent the wood from dropping out the bottom um, we'll flip it over cut the top off let's set fire to it This is the charcoal kiln as it stands. Uh, you can see the openings in the bottoms there. That we cut. Uh, it's off the ground at the minute. Perched on those three bricks. One, two, and a third one around the back. Um, so what happens is we'll stick this full of wood, and then when it's been burning for 10 to 15 minutes, um, kick the bricks out from the bottom and throw some earth around to seal it up. Um, it's more important that it seals up around the bottom to stop air getting in. Um, we'll stick the lid back on it. It won't fit perfectly. That's not the end of the world though because it needs to vent some of the gas. Uh, the main thing is that once once um, once we started off the burn, we can stop the burn by preventing air from getting in. Um, okay, fill out with wood. Okay, as you can see, I've topped this thing up with wood. Uh, it's probably about 60 kilos total weight here now. Um, still on the bricks. Got the lid on standby to go back on the top. Uh, and shovel behind me to, to throw some earth around the bottom. And I might throw some on top as well once it's gassed off a bit. Um, uh, I'll set the camera down and, uh, and we'll light this thing up, yep. You can see it's burning very nicely now. Um, been going about five minutes. Uh, one of the benefits of doing this at night, I suppose, is you can see see things happening a bit better. Um, obviously, it's glowing at the bottom of the barrel there, so you know it's burning from the bottom all the way up to the top there. Um, we're going to think about shutting it off now, so. I've kicked one of the bricks away on the far side. Um, I'm going to kick these two bricks away now, and uh, although it's not quite ready to be shut down completely, um, it will give me a bit of time to to shovel the earth around the bottom. And uh, I made sure the biggest bits of wood were at the top anyway, so they'll carry on burning whilst I close the bottom off and uh, and sort the top out. All I've done is knock it off the bricks and you can already see um, the flames have died down to just these orange flames at the side. Uh, we've got no more no more roaring, roaring fire. Uh, so a lot of that coming off is uh, stuff that will burn. You see that occasionally it does catch fire when it gets the oxygen. But um, we need to stop it burning completely. So give me a minute and I'll... Ugh. Smoke, cover the bottom up with soil and 
we'll shut this thing down. So it's got really dark now. You can see I've covered the bottom in now. Um, the earth closest to the barrel is starting to dry. It's still pretty hot there. It stopped glowing red though. There were some, some hot spots where it was, the barrel was actually glowing red. A little bit concerned as to why the paint isn't cooked off this side. Um, seems to have got hotter on one side than the other. I hope I left it long enough. Um, then we move up to the top here. Uh, the bit of perforated steel. I threw the cut out from the barrel back on top of this perforated steel and then uh, filled in with more soil and you can see it's just uh, just gassing off at the minute. It smells smoky, not damp, so uh, I really think this is going to be a good batch. Um, if it was damp I suppose it would still be uh, it'd still be wet timber in there, yeah obviously. Anywho, uh, I'm going to leave this now, come back to it in the morning and hope it hasn't all burnt away and we'll see what's what. Uh, the kiln's, kiln's cooled down. Um, bring this a bit closer. Might still have some on fire but um, I'm just about to fire up the uh, Apocalyptic Forge, so uh, you can watch that on another video, I suppose, because it will be getting a bit too long. Um, there you have it, glorious charcoal. Um, if I do find any that's still still a bit on the wham side, I'll throw it straight in the forge, and uh, I won't have to light it in, but that's it's all, it's all charcoal-y goodness, you know. Um, I'm going to find 101 uses for this, so uh, I'll probably make a playlist or something. Um, that's the successful charcoal production just from crappy softwood. So you can do this with anything. You can use uh, grass clippings if they're dry or hay or anything like that. Um, but I mean, that will just leave you with dust so you've got to make briquettes after that. That is something I'm going to do as well with the powdery stuff that comes off this. And uh, yeah, stay, stay tuned for a lot of charcoal. Oh, there's some glowing stuff in it. I've got to get this out. Cheers. Charcoal. Tabacon, can we make a eagle? Goodbye.